We're going to be talking about Cerberlicin. Cerberlicin is a common question. A lot of people don't know about it as much. It's not one of the more common peptides or nootropics that people know about, but it has a lot of more, lot more data than most of the nootropics and peptides that are out there. It's been used in other countries for 40 to 50 years. It started in Russia, is used for everything from stroke to Alzheimer's to traumatic brain injury to concussion. The medicine has, again, wonderful potential and wonderful documentation behind it. It does have some stigma behind it because it is derived from pig brain. First thing we tell patients is if you, unfortunately, if you are kosher, then you are not able to use the medication. It does not, there's no other derivation that is not derived from pig brain. So that's something you just need to be aware of, but it's a combination of peptides and growth factors. Uh, there's growth factor stimulating hormone, there's BDNF, there's P21. All these are, and many other ones, there's actually something called Sonic the Hedgehog, growth factor, neurotropic factor in there as well. All these different components help it to work on many facets of the brain to help it heal, to help the connectivity through improving neuroplasticity, increase the functioning, and to, again, to just make it work better. It helps with healing the brain. It's been shown to help patients after stroke and with dementia and concussion. So how do we take it? Cerebralizing is usually taken through a injection or an IV are the most common, the most studied ways of taking it. If you look at their website, the dosing is to be taking five milliliters of cerebralicin injection, usually five out of seven days for about 28 days, or it can be done IV, multiple dosing, again, depends on the physician doing it. Again, for that four to six week period of time, depending on strength and the response, and if you're in an outpatient or inpatient environment. There are people now like I do who will kind of mix the IV and the self-injection because most, a lot of people cannot be available to be doing IV every day. But you make sure that you can't be doing the dose you're doing IV, cannot re be reproduced by just doing a self-injection. You're gonna feel worse. You can have some major side effects, so be aware of that. Again, we most commonly use it in about four or five different facets. We're using it as a nootropic agent. We're using it patients for brain fog. We're using it for patients who have some type of brain injury. We're using it patients with dementia as cerebralicin has been shown to help limit the effects of dementia combination by helping the nerves regenerate in terms of both the healing of the nerve cell itself may help improve myelination. Most nerve cells have a coating that helps the, the, the quote unquote wire part of the nerve send signals throughout the brain and the rest of the body. It may help actually improve the, the coating on that wiring to help it work better. It decreases inflammation. It's gonna heal the blood-brain barrier. It's gonna help regulate the immune system of the brain. So it does all those different things. The antioxidant, so it's gonna get rid of any oxidative stress that's occurred as well. So it works in numerous different ways to help heal the brain. You wanna understand that it works in different ways. And it's something that you're gonna see results usually done pretty quickly. So let's kind of break that down a little bit more for you. So what you're gonna do is normally if you're gonna do the injections or the IV, you're gonna start at a lower dose. Usually start about anywhere between three to five milliliters on the injection. And you're going to start probably optimally about 10, mill 10 milliliters in the IV. A lot of this will depend on where your doctor is getting the shriverlicin from as the dosing will vary based upon that. So this is not set in stone. It really just depends on where you're getting it from. And then you're, that, that dosing is going to increase over those four to six weeks that you're using it. So what you're gonna notice isn't pretty quickly is that you will notice usually pretty improved cognition. You're gonna notice less brain fog. You're gonna notice improved memory, hopefully. And we've even seen patients could use it for neuropathy, that numbness that they're feeling with the neuropathy is improving within usually about two or three weeks. So cerebralicin is very powerful. Again, the fact that it has multiple different ways of working and helping the brain and the nerve tissue. We're gonna go through it one more time. It's an antioxidant. It helps with development of nerve cells. We know it's gonna help with the myelination, which is the wiring of the cell. We know it's gonna help preserve the blood-brain barrier. It increases neuroplasticity, which is the interconnection of the nerve cells. You're getting BDNF. You're getting, I love it saying it, the Sonic the Hedgehog factor, which helps with nerve growth. So it does all these different things for you to help promote brain health, heal from brain injury, act as a nootropic. And this is something we recommend patients do about two cycles a year, usually again, that, that four week, twice a year. And then we'll usually do it um, at other things um, in the meantime. Some people do use methylene blue with it. Methylene blue is a really good nootropic or a milder nootropic du jour, whatever your nootropic, go-to nootropic is. We would not recommend using anything like a racetam with it when you're doing the cycle. 
or anything really strong or has some side effects to it because you don't want to interact with the way that Sherbolysin is working. Sherbolysin is very hard to get. There are certain compounding pharmacies here in the United States that, that do make it, but again, in varying strength. So some people are now using P21 nose spray, which as we mentioned at the beginning, uh, Sherbolysin is made of various peptides found in the pig brain, including again, BDNF, Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, Nerve Growth Factor, and P21 all together. So they've, some people have just taken that P21 aspect and put it in a nose spray and you will get some benefit from that. It is not the same as getting a full Cerberlysin treatment. There are people who claim there are Cerberlysin pills. I have not seen much benefit from that. I would not spend a lot of money on those. I think that's kind of a little bit, I don't say scammy, but something you need to be cognizant of that they may not work as well. If you have any questions about Cerberlysin or those brain peptides and nootropics, feel free to put it in the comment section. Glad to answer what I can. If you'd like to hear more about peptides or the brain health, subscribe and hope to see you see more.